From Silicon Slopes, I'm your host, Josh Matches, and I'm joined by Helmi Altuki, the CEO, co-CEO, and co-founder of Garden Health. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So talk to us a little bit about Garden Health and what you guys do. Yeah, so we developed uh, blood tests, really, that span the, can the cancer continuum of care. Um, we have essentially a three-step process to conquering cancer with data. The first test we launched helps existing cancer patients. Um, essentially, any late-stage cancer patient get a better treatment through a simple blood test without the need for a biopsy. Our second test, which we launched earlier this year, helps cancer survivors, so people who are supposedly cured of cancer, have quantitative peace of mind, a simple blood test that can monitor them and make sure that they're still free and clear of disease. And the thing that we're most excited about is, you know, later, ne earlier, uh, early next year, we'll be launching a test for early detection of cancer. So instead of getting a colonoscopy, you could get a simple blood test at an annual physical. Wow, that's incredible. I just think the innovations that you guys do are just so incredible and just so meaningful to patients in terms of peace of mind and feeling at home. Um, so talk to us a little bit more about the tests and kind of what you're able to do and, and how you're able to innovate. And certainly, what was the last 18 months of running a business like through COVID? Yeah, so um, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, we're a, we're a physical testing company, and so we have physical samples that are coming in each and every day, critical cancer patients that we're helping, their physicians that we're helping uh, really treat their patients. And so we had to make sure that um, we had uninterrupted uh, operations. And so every single day we had people coming into the labs. We were able to transition our business from um, mostly um, you know, in, in person to about half-half virtual and, uh, and remote. Um, the second thing we were able to do was um, we were able to really leverage telemedicine in terms of, because our, our tests are so simple, they're a simple blood test, a physician, a late stage cancer patient doesn't have to go into a doctor's office anymore. We could actually bring in uh, what are called mobile phlebotomists to go to a patient's home, draw blood, and get the necessary information to put them on the right track. Um, in terms of how the technology works, um, cancer is a fast growing kind of disease. And when those cells grow, they're also dying. So they're shedding their unique DNA fingerprints into the blood. We develop a technology that can see the trace amounts of DNA fragments in a tube of blood with extremely high sensitivity uh, and high specificity. And as we make the technology more and more sensitive, we can go from helping late stage patients with stage three, stage four cancer to now uh, early detection and helping every single one of us um, with hopefully uh, a way to see cancer before it's too late to cure. It's incredible that you're able to follow those fingerprints at such, such an early stage now and really excited for some of these incredible developments. So certainly it's been a few years now since you went public with NASDAQ. What's it been like kind of in the transition from, you know, having now run a public company for, you know, a little over four years? Yeah, it's been, it's been good. You know, I would say that a lot of companies are fearful of that transition from going to private to public. I have to say, though, you have to run a company with what we call bifocal vision. If you're not hitting your short-term quarterly milestones, you're probably not hitting your long-term ones as well. So I think it's, you know, the, the training and discipline you need for running a successful private company, I think is good, um, good practice and uh, good training for running a successful public company as well. I completely agree. I think that's one of the fundamentals is just that good public companies work for a reason. It's that that quarterly milestone helps for the long-term planning. And I think you guys have shown that quarter over quarter, particularly with some of your recent innovations. So what excites you about the future of Garden Health? Yeah, we're really at a critical time point now. It's been about 10 years since we started the company. The vision was really having these blood tests that span that continuum of care from you know, early detection, helping cancer survivors, and obviously helping uh, advanced cancer patients. Um, but now we're putting it all together. And so the amount of data that we're unlocking with each and every test we run, um, we're essentially applying now machine learning and a whole bunch of different tools to that. And so I think we're going to be a, we're going to reach a point in the future where we can actually predict what's going to happen. We think of it as ways for cancer, essentially. We would know that don't put patient on treatment A, don't put patient on you know, intervention B, um, put them on, on plan C, essentially. And, uh, and you know that they're going to have a much better outcome. And so that's, that's the exciting future that I think we're just about to unlock now with these ecosystems of tests we have. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for unlocking the future of health. We no. really appreciate you joining us here in the NASDAQ studio. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Helmi. Yeah, thanks much. Appreciate it. Yeah.